hi besties welcome back to the channel it's Tony Dimples here so I'm sure you guys might be wondering what I look kind of crazy right now but that's because I just loosened my hair and we're going to be relaxing it together today but anyways let's go right into the video so today I'm going to be relaxing my hair by myself and I'm going to be showing you guys how I do it we're going to be doing this thing together though so the first thing you need while you're trying to relax your eyes, obviously your relaxer. And for that, I'm using this Beaver Relaxer. Beaver Relaxer. This Beaver Relaxer, I think it's a really common product. And not only is it common, it's affordable. And not only is it affordable, it's of good quality. That means it's going to get your hair to the texture that you actually want it to be. So the first thing you need is a relaxer. This comes in sizes. We have the small, the medium, and this is the medium that I got. It's also the bigger one, but that would be too much for my hair because I'm not relaxing like the entire head. I'm just relaxing the roots of my hair. So we're going to be needing your relaxer. You're going to be needing a hair cream like to protect the base of your head. Like you don't want any bonds. So you're going to be needing a hair cream. Then we're going to also be needing your shampoo and your conditioner from when you want to wash your hair. I am dandruff prone so that is why I make use of an anti-dandruff shampoo and conditioner. So the next thing you're going to be needing is your rat tail comb. Rat tail comb like this. Sorry if my rat tail comb looks funny. <laughs> Anyways, the next thing you're going to be needing is your wax seal comb. And of course, the final thing you're going to be needing is a pair of gloves. But actually, I couldn't get my hands on any pair of gloves. So we're just going to be using my natural hands for this video. So let's get right into it. So the first thing first is to make sure that your hair is properly dry. Second tip I'm going to drop is that you should make sure you've not been in the sun for too long. So make sure you've not itch your hair too much to avoid bonds. And you make sure that your hair is properly dry, no moisture. And the most important thing is to do the relaxing in a place that ventilation because it's going to get spicy, it's going to get hot. So you want to do it in a properly ventilated area. So the first thing is to remove the seal of your relaxer. Do it like that. This is actually kind of hard. Okay, it's not that hard. So this is how my relaxer looks like. Oh my god, did I think it's too much? So the first thing to do is to part your hair into four sections. Normally I will part my hair into three sections, but we're doing four sections today so you guys can get it like it properly get it. So let's go. So the first thing is to divide the hair into two like this. Can you, can you see how dirty my hair is? Oh, I think I'm seeing some dandruff. I know this. So part the hair into four sections like this. Part horizontal and vertical. So guys, we've parted the hair into two sections like this. It doesn't have to be straight sections anyway. So just freestyle. Do what's you can like you can just do your best then after parting into two sections we're going to part it into four sections like we're going to further divide it into four sections like this oh my god this is painful so guys this is the first part the second part the third part and the fourth part now guys be prepared that this is going to hurt like not too much but if you follow all my steps, like it's not meant to hot a lot, so just hot you a little bit. So now we've gotten that into four parts. One, two, three, and four. So the next thing to do is to go in with your hair cream. Guys, do not miss this step. If not, it's going to burn like a bitch. So I'm going to apply, be generous with the amount of hair cream you apply because for crying out loud so you have to be generous with it apply around the base of your hair hmm. guys please don't skip this step please don't skip this step i can't emphasize enough do not skip this step see how generous i'm going with this thing because i hate bonds like it's very painful so round the 360 of your head please lay that the hair cream <laughs> put enough hair cream please guys you don't want to 
<laughs> don't want to experience bonds because I've actually experienced it a lot. And uh, let me tell you guys, my experience with bonds is not even funny. It's not funny. So we already applied the hair cream to the 360 of my head, please. I feel like this thing is not enough, so I'm going to put some more. Beg, I cannot come and be crying. Hey, hey. So now that that is done, we're going to put the hair cream on the parts of our head too. Because to avoid any bonds, as I've said earlier. So put it in the middle part. All the parts that were already formed. Literally, the reason why it's put in parts is just to make it easier, please. It's to make it easier, nothing much. So, I think I'm comfortable with that. Okay, I have put it at the back. Please, go with your hair cream. Hmm. This thing, you can also use Vaseline for this method if you don't have hair cream around you. So, like I've said, if you're a beginner, you can make use of a glove but i'm used to it and i don't really feel comfortable when i put on a glove so look at the parts these are the parts so we're going to do this side first before going on to the other side so i'm trying to really separate it so i don't want it to so that it to ensure that my hair is properly relaxed and guys if you feel you can't actually do these things by yourself you can go to hairdresser to make life easier for you. So I'm going to be going with my rattle comb and a relaxer. So the first step is literally just applying the relaxer to your whole circumference of your head. That's the first step. So take your relaxer and just literally apply it to the circumference of your head. I already told you guys, working with a rattle comb is not really my thing. So I'm just going to use my hand and just apply. Please, in everything you are doing, do not let this get into your eyes, so... And the smell of this thing is really nauseating, so... You just have to be careful, and it's a chemical, so you have to be really careful with what you are doing. So, just pat and apply. Part apply, part apply, part apply. Yes, you guys should be careful, really careful. You guys has like you have to be careful. Like I cannot emphasize how careful you have to be when using relaxer, please. You guys should be careful so that it doesn't get into your eyes. It doesn't get hmm. like I don't know why, maybe it's just me, but when I'm doing these things, I just like to be very careful. If you cannot use your hand like me, please make use of a comb. So we are just we've already applied it to the first part. So I'm going to really do mine. Like I'm going to quickly do the whole of my head and come back for the second step. going to go in is to go in with our rattle comb to ensure that it is properly spread and you know properly relaxed so we're going to take it bit by bit like this guys please just be careful when you're doing this please i beg you guys be careful and just take your time guys the smell of this relaxer is terrible we don't have to do what we have So 
so guys it will bit by bit come through please just be patient it's not going to like be easy but you just have to be patient bit by bit you can see my eyes already getting stuck guys if you feel the relaxer is not properly getting to where you want it to get in, you can add more as you go but i already saturated my entire head with a whole lot of relax so i'm just going to be taking it bit by bit and please guys i forgot once you're doing this please make sure you have a towel on you please because it can like so that it cannot it will not touch your bare skin and not get to where it's not meant to get to so that's just the essence of the thing Take it bit by bit. Just can you see how that is looking sleek already? So I'm just going to apply more relaxer to the edges of my hair. Until I'm satisfied with the end result. And please, guys, when you are combing out, you have to be careful too, so that you don't over comb it because that's when it's going to start burning. So, guys, I'm satisfied with this part, so I'm just going to do this once again and go on to the next part. Guys, I'll do the rest of my hair and show you guys what I'm doing. Guys, I went to get a bigger comb because my hair is too hard. So, mm -hmm, that's better. So guys, I'm done combing out the entire section of my hair. So after going on, again, going in with the comb, we're going to go with it again and again till it's properly soft and you can feel like it's relaxed, like you can feel the texture that your hair is softer than to normally be. That is when you know the hair is relaxed. So after the final touching up, we're going to leave it for like 10 to 15 minutes for it to properly relax. Then we go wash it off. So let's get right into it. I'm on a feeling, then no one see me. I'm on a feeling. So let's continue. So we're going to start from here again, from the top. This hair must properly relax soon because <laughs> must relax because this hair is hard. Can't have it not relaxing. I'm not gonna go to school tomorrow looking like a piece of trash. No. No, no, it's not possible. So as you're going, you notice you're, like some strands of hair coming out and all. That's because you didn't comb your hair before relaxing, of course. So don't be scared that your hair is coming off, oh, guys. Don't be scared. And why the color of the relaxer is changing on my comb is because my hair is really dirty, like very, very dirty. 
so guys you just have to trust the process and just keep doing it you can't be perfect in one day so you just have to keep doing it so i'm going to apply a little bit to this strand take your comb comb it out till you're properly satisfied with Pretty big here. You can see that this place is looking like it doesn't have relaxing. Go see how dirty my hair looks. But I haven't even used half of this relaxer. Please so be careful with your eyes. You can even close your eyes wide when this. If you are scared, like, <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I get scared or I beg. Can you come and go blind? Because of beauty, no, 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 it's not acceptable. So, if you feel some places don't have relaxer, just touch it up. That's why it's like this third step is just to touching up to make sure your hair is properly saturated. So, right now, like it's not yet burning, like I'm expecting it should, but. That's because I've got a bit of this thing. Like, if you see the first time I relaxed my hair, Jesus Christ, it burnt like hell. It burnt, I felt that it wasn't even funny because it burnt my scalp. It, the scalp burns, like my scalp literally burns. So now I'm satisfied with the texture of this part. So I'm just going to go on with the final step, which is combing it out. My hair is fucking stubborn and so hard. My hair is so, so hard. So guys, we are done. So we're gonna wait for some time before we wash it off. I think I'm just gonna wait for 10 minutes because I'm already liking the texture of my hair. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. After 10 minutes, we're going to wash all this off. See you right now. So let me comb it out for you guys to see what I'm talking about. So before you comb it out, please, the hair is already dry, so you're going to apply your hair cream. Oh god, I already ran out of hair cream. Anyways, I was still able to get something at least to moisturize my hair. Guys, let me tell you, even though I've done this, like, this is not my first time, like, my hair still burns. <laughs> Like, I have to go back to learning again, but it wasn't that bad, but at least I got what I wanted, my hair was relaxed. And at least, hmm, can you see how that looks? So let me comb it out, so you guys can see. Just... 
can you guys see how my hair looks like the texture is just better it looks better like it's more soft like i didn't properly relax it like i didn't want it to get so soft and it just gave me the perfect thing that i needed like it's not too soft it's not too you know I'm so happy like guys you should learn how to do some things yourself not every time some, 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 some. it's not even about the money like you might be in a place where you just have to do things yourself like nobody's gonna be there to do it for you so you just have to learn you can't learn how to do anything but at least you can try guys can you see how my hair is looking no more hard hair at least I can boldly do this whenever I want to. I can do it for anybody now. And the funniest thing, it came out so so nice. Like it's not too soft because I hate when I relax my hair and it's like everything is just falling. Like, you can see the ends of my hair still look like virgin for the tips. Relaxed. Mm. Can you guys see that? My hair is not. Oh my gosh. So, guys, that is how to properly relax your hair. So should I style it? What do you guys think? Let me see, Let me see if I can style it. So. So guys, we've come to the end of this video and I'm sure you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, I'm so happy with the way my hair came out. Like, it's just the perfect texture that I want it to be. So guys, this is an opportunity for you to do anything yourself. Like, it's not about the money. It's just, like, I don't know if anybody's like me. I just want to be able to do things myself sometimes, not every time. Going to the salon, going to the hair installation. Like, I just want to learn how to do things myself. I just like learning how to do things myself. So guys, we'll come to the end of this video and I'm sure you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.